So to set the stage with AMC, we first want to share a quick case study so everyone here can have some understanding of how it works. We're going to be talking about best-selling alkaline water brand, Essentia Water. Um, Essentia has been advertising on Amazon for quite some time and historically leveraged tra traditional pay-per-click advertising to drive sales and awareness. In 2021, Essentia began spending against DSP, and at the time, DSP lived in an entirely separate silo. We optimized and reported on search advertising and DSP advertising in completely separate buckets. And in January of this year, Essentia expressed a desire to grow household penetration and build up their unaided brand salience. And so at One Stone, we knew that diversifying their media mix would help out, but we really didn't have the data to support shifting ad budgets to DSP so, so heavily. And this, of course, brings us to, to AMC. Before we dive into what we found, let's quickly define what AMC is. AMC is the Amazon Marketing Cloud. It's Amazon's data clean room that allows for brands to understand a deeper impact of how their ads are working. And to practically define it, AMC is an aggregator of all ad interactions when typically ads would sit in individual silos. The tool will pull in data across sponsored product ads, sponsored display ads, and DSP orders, and then show the overlap of all of these ad units together. Another quick, quick note is we're expecting some time in 2023 for sponsored brands to also be incorporated into the into AMC moving forward. Instead of measuring KPIs like impressions, clicks, click-through rate, ROAS within each advertising console, AMC allows for advertisers to, to see a more accurate picture of how your ads are, are truly performing together. I'll also note that, that AMC does not double dip. So for example, when an AMC dashboard displays the number of shoppers who, who click on an ad, these users are, are all going to be unique. So shifting back to Essentia, when we looked at our first instance, AMC showed us the reach, the number of conversions, and conversion rate across individual ad units and ad units overlapped. Within this, we found that sponsored product ads made up for 77% of all of our total reach, but only accounted for about 27% of conversions. For DSP, we saw a really similar story. So on the standalone DSP side, DSP accounted for about 18% of all reach, and only 14% of total conversions. And so where it gets really interesting is when we looked at the segment that overlapped shoppers who interacted with both DSP and sponsored product ads together, this segment only accounted for about 5% of all reach, but drove 60% of total conversions. And so for reference, that's a conversion rate that's about 10x that of both sponsored product and DSP ad standalone. And really at this point, this was all of the data we needed to restructure our strategy. Once we had this, we knew we needed to grow the segment. And the, the only way of really doing that was, was starting to spin more aggressively against DSP. Looking up six months later, we had improved our accounts ROAS by 52%, and we had drove a much stronger total purchase rate. I'll also note that AMC informed our strategy for filling the funnel. Instead of being so search focused and thereby mid lower funnel, AMC identified a need to invest more into awareness and loyalty segments. And the beauty of this, and, and ultimately retail media, is that AMC served as evidence that our ad units are in fact working together. The tool has allowed for us to push them to the top of the funnel with say a streaming TV or an OLV ad, and then try to push shoppers down to the point of purchase. So we would maybe move from an awareness ad via streaming TV OLV to a consideration ad with say a sponsored brand video, only to close out the purchase with either a purchase order DSP or a sponsored product on, say, a branded term. I also want to note that AMC offers so much more than, than just this ad overlap report. On the right, you'll see a mention of path to purchase reports as well as audience insights. The path to purchase tool allowed us to better understand and track every shopper's journey all the way to the point of purchase. On the audience insights side, this really showed us who the ideal Essentia shopper was. We, we had data that broke out number of purchasers or viewers by age, income, gender, geos, and, and a lot more. Some other tools that we leverage that aren't included in this deck are new to brand ASIN analysis, time to conversion analysis, day parting analysis, historical branded keyword search volume, and, and much more. Just to conclude, this tool really gave us the confidence that all of our ads on Amazon are, are working together in some way. We're now past the time of traditional search and DSP sitting in their respective silos. And if you're spending against DSP and search today on Amazon, AMC could be a really great option and it could be a really effective tool for you to better understand how your ads are complementing one another. Uh